Hello everyone. We'll start with our new topic that is ALV by object oriented concepts. In the core ABAP, we all know how to create a ALV. Now we will create the same ALV by object oriented concepts. The full form of ALV, we all know it is application list viewer or a BAP list viewer. In the core ABAP, we can create ALV list also, we can create ALV grid also. But in object oriented concept, we can only only create a ALV grid. We will not, or there is no provision to create ALV list. We can only create ALV grid. Now, what are the various steps to create a ALV by object oriented concept? Now, what is the first step? We have to create a field catalog. When we created the ALV by core ABAP concept at that time, also we created the field catalog. So in object oriented concept also, we have to create a field catalog. So whenever we want a ALV, the first thing we should always, always create a field catalog. Now, Whenever you want to create a ALV by OOPS concepts, you can create a field catalog by two ways. Either you can use the SAP function module. The name of the function module is LVC underscore field catalog underscore match. With the help of this function module, we can create a field catalog or we can manually create a field catalog also. Anyways, we'll cover both the ways practically, both the math, both, both the ways practically. Now, after creating the field catalog, now how we will display the ALV? we have to follow some standard steps. We will follow some steps. In the core ABAP, what you did? After creating the field catalog, you display the output using the function modules, reuse ALB list display, reuse ALB grid display. But here we will not use those things we will use SAP standard classes to achieve our requirement. Now, how we will display the ALV by object oriented concept? We will create a container. We will create a container and inside that container, we will display the ALV grid. I'm talking about ALV grid only because we can only only create a ALV grid by object oriented concept. We will create a container and inside that container, we will display our ALV grid or simple word. I will say your container is a parent for the ALV grid because your ALV grid will be inside that particular container. Firstly, what we will do, we will design a container. Yes, we have to design a container. Yes. Now, after that, we will create a object of this particular class. It is a SAP standard class for the container. We will create a object of this particular class. Now, whenever container object is created, after that, 
we will create a object of alv grid class this is our alv grid class but whenever we will create a object of alv grid class what is the parent for alv grid container is the parent for that alv grid anyways we'll go for practical part the steps will make more sense at that point of time so firstly what you can do you can create a object of the container then you can create a object of alv grid and you have to pass that container as a parent to that alv grid now if your alv grid object is created yes after that we will use this particular method to bind the data with the field catalog i will just repeat the steps but the, the steps we will do to create a create a alv by object oriented concept firstly we will prepare our field catalog done okay suppose we will prepare the field catalog we will bring the data from the tables we have the field catalog we have the data now we have to bind this data with our field catalog in the core of app concepts you use sap function modules reuse alv list display or reuse alv grid display to bind your data with the field catalog but here we will not use those function modules we will use sap standard classes to achieve our requirement firstly we will create a object of the container then we will create a object of the alv grid and that container will act as a parent to that alv grid once the object of alv grid is created we will use this particular method set table for first display to bind your data with the field catalog this is how we will display the alv by object oriented concept now in the next video we will go for each and every step practically so that the concept will make a more sense to you thank you very much thank you